Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Thy Fuzzy. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Thank you for clicking on this video and being here. I super duper appreciate your face and for you doing that and everything. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Hopefully you guys are staying late and blessed. Hopefully you guys are having good knobs and having H2Os and all that stuff and good sleeps and good dreams. But anyways, today we're gonna be making some date squares in this video. Date squares are one of my favorite holiday treats and stuff around the end of the year and around Christmas time and everything. They're very good, not very good, and they're not healthy. They're a very good treat, but they're not, I was gonna say they're very good, they're healthy. They ain't healthy. I don't know, not a lot of people like date squares. They think that they're like old lady treats and stuff like that, and maybe they are. I don't care, man. I'm an old lady at heart, but, and that's okay. Everything that I'll be using and all the ingredients and the base foundation um, recipe that I'm gonna be using will be all down below in the description. If you guys were ever curious on what I'm using and everything. But before we get baking, we, we gotta get medicated. Before we get baking, we gotta get medicated. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. Let's get it guys. Cheers. That do be burning nice. She's canoeing a little bit, so we'll fix it. If you guys are ever wondering what I'm medicating on, I will leave it down below as well in the description. I usually leave everything down below in the description for you guys if you're ever curious on what I'm using and what we're medicating on. <laughs> Ooh. That's tasting, that's tasting real good. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that shit's fucking 10 out of 10. If you guys ever want to see the uncensored broccoli or tea leaves and stuff like that, I always say this in every other video, go check my Twitch out. My Twitch, we have uncensored seshes and Medicaid, medicating, medicating seshes. Is that, is that the right way to put it? But go check that out. Oh, go check that out. out. <laughs> go check that out. We chill, we do our thing. We watch some videos. We listen to some music. We play some video games and we get medicated. You know, I feel like it's best of all the worlds. But enough about that. Today, for the date squares. I kinda just tell you guys in the dis like in the voiceover if you guys need to add something or if I'm adding things and whatnot. It, they, it turned out good. They made a lot. I made a lot. I made a nine by 13 pan. So if you guys don't want about that much, just cut the recipe in half and just get a half of size. Half a size of that pan. <laughs> She's burning nice. <laughs> <coughs> This is uh this is hitting nice. This is this is tasting good. This is hitting nice. I think we've I think we've medicated we've medicated enough here. So let's take this party and take it downstairs and let's get baking some of these date squares, guys. I love your faces. I'll see you downstairs. All right, get your scale here, and we're gonna need one pound of pitted dates here. So we're just gonna weigh it out. I think I go a little bit more than a pound. I think it was like a pound and 14 or something like that, or I used like pounds to ounces. I can't remember, but I used a little bit more because I like to have a little bit more date filling in my date squares personally, but you know, each to their own. Break it apart with your hands because I just didn't want those big chunks. It'll just be easier to, you know, boil down get your large saucepan and pour them in there boom cup and a half of hot water about one tablespoon or so of you know lemon juice here two tablespoons of brown sugar throw that into that pot wapow put that aside we need zest from two oranges here. Yeah, I don't know. Zesty zest. Gotta love it. Tappy dee pap tap. God, that smells so good. Like, look at that. Mm. Throw that into the pot, and then we're gonna need about one third cup here of freshly squeezed orange juice from the oranges we just zested here. Yeah, yeah that was difficult, that one. Throw that into the pot as well. 
Now, some vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste, whatever you have. About, yeah, three teaspoons of that. Now throw that onto the stove on a medium low and give it a good stir. And we're just gonna keep an eye on it till it like starts boiling and thickening, 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 <laughs> thickening up. You'll see here, see it's uh, quite runny and everything. We're just gonna keep an eye on it, keep stirring it, throw the lid on. And you'll see over time, it's gonna start start to slowly thicken up naturally from the dates and the orange juice and all those sugars and goodness and yum yum yum. I don't know what that was. Just ignore me. <laughs> Once it's done, you shut it off, put the lid on and set it aside. Now get yourself a large bowl here and two cups, yes, of quick oats or any kind of oats you have at the moment. Throw that into the bowl. Now get one cup here of all-purpose flour. Throw that into the bowl as well. One teaspoon of baking powder. Shabam! And about three quarters cup of lightly packed brown sugar. Throw that into the bowl as well. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Shabam. One teaspoon of ground ginger as well. One eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. I think I actually put two here. One, two. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> One eighth teaspoon of allspice. Wow. Well, now whisk that up so it's nicely mixedy mix, mixedy, mixy mix. <laughs> now one cup of cold butter, unsalted preferably, and get that all sliced and cubed up. Uh, I would prefer to use a little bit more than one cup, maybe like a cup and a half next time because I found when I was like baking this on the end, it was a little dry. So maybe a cup and a half. Throw that into your bowl as well. Ugh. Put that aside, get your blender or food processor or whatever you have <laughs> and throw that in there. I spilled. And we're gonna just wanna blend this up till it's like nicely mixed up. I, I have to like take this off a few times and like shake it up and whatnot. So it was a little bit of a process. So maybe a food processor would be better. But I don't know, this is what I had. <laughs> See, look at, I'm just shaking it up violently. It worked, it's fine. It did its job. <laughs> now get your nine by 13 dish here and put a little bit of Pam or oil or butter this one was giving me technical difficulties. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna wipe it around, get it everywhere, because we're gonna throw some parchment paper here on top. And when you kinda get your pan lubricated and ready for the parchment, it will stick better. You'll see here, like, look at this. I don't hassle as much. It's not like flopping around, it's sticking to the pan, it's staying there, it's doing its job. It's not gonna slip and slide. It's gonna be great, you'll see, just trust. Now get your date mixture here. It's kind of started to cool off. You can throw this in a food processor or blender as well, but I have this little hand mixer that I'm gonna use and we're just gonna blend this bad boy up. I made funny noises here in editing when I sped it up. You know, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm a child. Look at how creamy and smooth that is. Mm, ah, so nice. Now set that aside, get your nine by 13 pan, and pour about, I wanna say, two thirds of that mixture out into the pan and then leave the rest in your pro a food processor. And then now you're gonna wanna press this down very hard. Wanna get it pretty compact, you know what I'm saying? And get it all even too. You can see that I'm kinda looking to see if it's all even. And then you're gonna wanna take that date mixture and place it all over that and make sure you spread it out all evenly. Oh, this stuff smelled so good. With that orange in there and the dates, it smelled so ooey gooey, sticky goodness. Oh, 10 out of 10. I love me some good date squares. I don't know about you guys. 
Now take the rest of your oatmeal mixture and place it on top. Make sure you spread it, spread it, spread it around evenly. Why are, why are words so difficult for me? So difficult. While you're doing all that, make sure your oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because that is the temperature we are seeking. And after you're done all sprinkling it around, make sure you're like gonna press it down to make sure that oatmeal mixture is like kind of all, all up in there, kind of compact. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then after you're done all that, make sure you throw it in the oven for 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. A few moments later. Now would you look at that? Now let it cool overnight. The next day. Damn, that looks tasty. Now we're gonna cut it all up here. Cut it up into little bite-sized pieces. It's just gonna pop out of the dish like nothing here. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Now we're just gonna peel away the parchment paper. And then yeah, slicey slice. Now slice up to your desired bite-sized pieces you want and whatnot. We made quite a bit with this. It turned out good. I will say the top is a little bit more crumb crumblier <laughs> than what I've wanted. So like I said, that's when I would add a little bit more butter in it. But you know what? They turned out good. I'm, I'm proud of myself. They, they look delicious. They taste delicious and everything. They made, I don't even know, a few dozen. Uh, like a few dozen, maybe like two dozen ish like little things i don't know but yeah guys hopefully you guys had a good you know holidays hopefully you guys had a good new year and everything let's crush 2023 together let's make this a fuzzy year and everything and hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe it seemed you know well every recipe seems easy to me and i hate being like that but you know hopefully it was helpful hopefully you guys <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this and let me know down in the comments if you guys make these recipes and whatnot because i enjoy listening and hearing if you guys do and if you guys like them but look at that can't tell me that right there does not look yummy tummy in my i don't know yummy dom yummy bomb.com anyways jellyfish out here bye hey guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that video i know <laughs> i know i enjoyed that video a lot i enjoyed making those my family really enjoyed eating all those date squares i know i did but i love your faces guys if you guys stayed till the end of the video and you stayed this far let's comment Pringles. I don't know why. Let's comment Pringles down below. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I love your faces. You guys stay lit, stay blessed, just stay hydrated, have your noms, have your sleep and all that jazz. And until next time, guys, you know, you know, you know what? Stay lit, stay blessed. Bye.